Hey guys, Master Soul Warrior here, and welcome to the finale of Let's Play Pokemon Blue Water Solo. With me today is... Hi, everyone! That's right, it's Ray again. Oh. Hello, it's me, Magi404! Come on, Elite Four, what you got? Yeah, let's see if they can stand up to this. Ah, General Cannon, when you roll the tanks! This should be quite good. Now, let's do this thing. First up is Lorelei. Hello, Madam of Ice. Was I the only one who thought she was kind of hot in the anime? For like every boy ever. <laughs> well, to be fair, she's got the glasses thing going on too. But anyway, Lorelei. Them, them glasses. She she primarily uses ice types, but the thing is, of course, as was the problem with Gen One, there's not a lot of variety of typing. So a lot of her Pokemon are also part water type. Which means they get shocked to death. Regardless though, they are the, they are considerably level higher than Giovanni's Pokemon, so if you haven't been grinding, this could come as a rude awakening to your team. Yeah, his Rhydon, at least if I remember correctly, it was his Rhydon, was level 50. These guys, they start out at level 54, so it's quite a different, so it's quite a shock a bit. I remember having a lot of trouble here starting out. Ooh, closer. Come I always think I always think this sort of uh, leaf four is quite a bit of a bump considering there aren't there isn't much to grind on to get you prepared. Oh no, I'm confused. Oh some sonic Fuck. Shit. Fuck. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Be in the face. <laughs> you idiot, what are you doing? Oh wow, that was a quick shrug off. Jeez. <laughs> okay, so let's see. Stuff to talk about while we're. Oh, and here comes Slowbro. Slowbro! I will never understand why Shelter turns into that, of all things. This is oh! Paralalalalysis. All growl. <laughs> why do you still have growl? What are you doing? A lot of their moves are actually kind of, um. Bad. Not to their full effect. There's there's some choice moves in there, but only some choice moves. Oh god damn it! Some of them aren't exactly choice. This was thankfully fixed in yellow. Well, they actually did bother to give them good move sets. Yeah, where the Elite Four were actually threatening in that game. But yeah, um, see, as far as news is concerned, black and white too. Yes. Even I was like, what the fuck? You can't be serious. I'm looking forward to that like you wouldn't believe. And here's Jinx in action. Hi, Jinx. You know, I think we've already seen one of these. Bye, Jinx. <laughs> <laughs> and her last Pokemon is, is Lapras. It's Lapras! Oh, Paralysis once again. I love how we got more Paralysis on normal Pokemon than I have on the Legendaries. Oh no, not again. Right. Damn it. Alright, um... Do earthquake again, why not? Even though I don't want to use that too much. No! Oh, damn it. Ow, oh, it hurts. Damn it, so much for no damage on the Elite Four. Yes, I'm a troll like that, what can I say? There we go, and Lorelei was defeated. She's a lot harder, I think, in Fire Red and Leaf Green because, you know, actual type diversity and everything. And, and her levels are even lower. Oh. I don't remember that, but no. And more moves. All of them so. are all, all the leaf four levels are lower by two. Oh. Okay. And now here is Bruno. Bruno's team is kinda weird. Because it's a mix of both fighting and rock and ground, even though it's mostly fighting types. It's supposed to be signaled as fighting types, but why they throw in some rock there? Well, Oh, and they throw in, he throws in two of these assholes! Two yeah, onyxes. Two, yeah, two onyxes for whatever reason. And he also has the Hitmons. Hey Jackie Chan, how you doing? Earthquake break!
Hey, speaking of black and white, I almost forgot about this. Starting today is the Reverse Legendary Event. Where if you get into Mystery Gift, you can get the opposing legendary of your version. For example, if you have black version, like I do, you can get a level 100 Zekrom. 100 off the bat? Yep. Very generous So I'm assuming game. that if you have white version, you would get a level 100 Reshiram. At least I'm assuming. I'm not sure if that's true or not, but it probably is. It's a com The level 100 Zekrom is a complete beast. It's got 366 attack. And all of its moves are physical, so... Nope. Level 83! Level 83! Maybe, if I'm lucky, I can get speed over 200 by the end of this LP. And he has a mock Jam! How's it going, Macho? This is one of the four trade-only Pokémon. Yeah, it looks at you with its watch up face. <laughs> watch up. And, unfortunately, it's slow and its special defense is not that good, so... It can be taken out pretty quickly if you know what you're doing. Just like Bruno! Oh. <laughs> Actually, talk to him again before the doors open. Next up, we have Agatha. Agatha specializes in ghost types. She actually specializes in poison types! Well, yeah, because the only ghosts in this game are part poison. This is, of course, handled better in Gen 3 because, again, more in the types. I can't remember, in the Gen 3 remake, did, did, uh, they have like a round 2 where you, you know, fight the stronger Elite 4, or... Yes, they did! Oh, okay. She has a mystery most of that time, too. Oh, yeah, I remember now. And this is why I have this. Oh, quick. Yeah, she actually has two Gengars, believe it or not. One of them straight up attacks you, one of them status is you. And she has a goal bat, so we get to see Awesome Face. GIANT TONGUE! <laughs> the giant tongue of manliness. And it goes down. I think she has a couple haunters. This is her only one. Oh. It's only that she's two, two Gengars. Oh. The next one's an Arbok. Oh yeah, now I remember. There we go. Ooh, Kriggle with Earthquake. That's gotta hurt. Earthquake and make. Oh, whoops. <laughs> Chabaka. That should... Yep, there we go. And, of course, the other Gengar. Two oh yeah, I almost forgot for the time thing of the opposing legendary event. As I said about the opposing legendary event, it starts today and it goes through until April 8th, if I remember correctly. So Ray, I'm not sure if you have an actual card, but if you want to get in on that, you might want to do it soon. I don't have an actual card, though now since I'm starting Let's Playing White, I will get one eventually. Get black. I'm gonna get white! Man. Oh well. And so we come to the final member of the Elite Four. It's save. I'm paranoid, okay? It's the Lance, the Dragon Master. Yeah, because yeah, dragons, when there's only one actual dragon type in Gen 1. Well, one family. family. Yeah, fa the line. He starts out with a Gyarados. And I love this battle music. This battle music is so good. Arrow is a mm -hmm. yeah, Fortunately, this isn't Gen 3 where abilities are introduced, otherwise that Gyarados would have had to intimidate, but oh well. Oh, and here it comes. This is Dragonair. This is the evolved form of, This is the evolved form of Dratini. Dratini evolves into this at level... I want... I think it was 30. 30. Oh, 30. I was gonna say 30 or 35. Anyway, Dragon types have one thing in common. They're weak to Ice types. 
they, they, they freeze these to ice types. Uh, but, they're from... but, the, but they're naturally resistant to all the other elements. Yeah, that's the one thing that they have going for them. But that's only if they're mono. And here's this other dragon here. The only exception I can think of is Kingdra, which is water dragon. That thing has no weaknesses at all. Except for itself. Oh, yeah, except for dragon itself. Yeah. Dragons are weak to themselves. Yeah. Interesting. We'll complain, though. Yeah, it balances them out. And he has an Aerodactyl. This thing is a cheating bastard of Generation 2 with knowing Rock Slide when it's not supposed to. And it's fast as crap, too. Not as fast as Awesome Trode, but fast nonetheless. And finally, Dragonite. Dragonite! The final member of the Dratini line. Dragonair evolves into Dragonite at level 55, and it learns Hyper Beam at the same time, which I believe is its last move. It's also, also one this of the thing is the derp, because it knows Barrier when it's not supposed to learn Barrier. And there it goes. Lance is a cheating bastard. If you think that's bad, wait till you- Level oh. 84! If you think that's bad, Ray, wait till something near the end of Black and White. I won't tell you what it is, but once you see it, Cal will probably rage in a comment about it, so you'll know then. Damn it! Damn it! <laughs> and so, so we step aside, game. We just trolled all of the Ryu. General Patton is now king. Yep. Wait, what? 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 Holy shit! <laughs> But yes, now, this is the big twist that nobody knew about back in the day. You have to uh, fight the good. rival for the championship. And his team will vary depending on what your... And his... Uh, eh. And of course his team will vary depending on what starter you have. I don't... I'm the most powerful trainer in the world! I don't remember what the changes are off the top of my head, but I'm just going to shut up and let the awesome battle music play, because this is probably the best battle theme in the entire game. Wait, so? Let's do this thing! Let the tanks roll for the final battle! He starts out with his Pidgeot, level 61. Don't know the movesets off the top of my head, but it shouldn't be a problem. This thing still knows stuff like sand attack, so then you're fine. <laughs> Next up, Alakazam. Alakazam! Alakazam! Quite, quite possibly the deadliest psychic type in the game after Mewtwo. But it chops to a physical attacks. Mm hmm. Next up, Rhydon. This thing knows both Tail Whip and Leer! Wow, really? Yep. That's pathetic. So if I remember correctly, his yellow team is a lot better. Oh yes it is! Next up is his own Gyarados. This is replaced with Blastoise, you chose Char Charmander. Oh, okay. I figured you would know. <laughs> That's why I have him here, folks. He knows more than I do. And you're dead, son. Which is a shame, because I really like Gyarados. I do too! Next up, Arcanine! Which is replaced by Charizard, which was Bulbasaur as your starter. And finally, the highest level trainer Pokémon in the game, his starter. Venusaur, which is which is replaced by an executor if you didn't choose Squirtle. And eh, let's go. And with then it, and it goes easily down. Let's go with I this. Mean Venusaur. What am I supposed to do? I mean Venusaur. God damn it, Ego Raptor! Why are you so awesome? Oh my God, it survived. Uh oh. Uh, oh shit! Okay, here comes. Uh, me. Oh. Ice beam to the face. And with that, we are now the Pokémon Champion! Now, General Patton is King Patton. 
Step aside, Reggie, you've just been trolled over. That was for Mother 3 not coming to America, bitch. <laughs> I've been wanting to do that the entire Let's Play. Damn it, personal <laughs> shoutouts and points ads. Damn it, Nick. Ah, <laughs> uh, feels good to have done that again. But it's not over yet, folks. So one more thing to do. Oh, I'm probably just gonna fast forward through the crisis. Nobody wants to sit through those. Ah. The Pokemon Hall of Fame, probably the most bland room in the entire game. I remember people wondering what the, what does what happen? What do you see when you go past the boundaries? Like, there's something really awesome beyond these batteries and boundaries. We cheat and just look, and there was nothing. Yeah. The Innocence the of your true party! The manliest... The manliest Blastoise ever. Hey Mew, how you doing? That's gonna be quick, they're the only two pe- I'm- They're the only two things I've got. 22 Pokemon, that's terrible. Oh well, that's- You still need more Pokemon, try to catch other species. Oh well, that wasn't the point of the run. We. Nice. <laughs> I love having my fast forward button. Seriously, if I had the fast forward button for Fui no Surugi, that game would have gone by so much faster. No doubt. Oh well, old oh, computer. What could I do? And and we and, and you start off back in Pallet Town. But now for what we're going to do. Yeah, actually. Oh, don't why'd I do that? <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Also, interestingly, the game doesn't fully heal you when you go back to town. Yeah, that's so the, you, I don't know. I don't remember they fixed that in later generations. They do. Oh, okay. Excuse me. Like. Anyway, if you're wondering why I came back to Cerulean, you remember that guy who was blocking that weird cave earlier? He's not there anymore. Bonus well, coffee break, but now that means you can go in there. You know what that means, folks? We got one more dungeon to do. Do do do. Surf it the USA. Ah, <laughs> uh, so satisfying to almost have this done. Here we go, folks. Welcome to Cerulean Cave. Nah, it's called the UNKNOWN DUNGEON! <laughs> uh, uh, you can find some pretty rare Pokemon in here, in the in, in Gen 1. Like, all the odd ones that weren't normally here are here. Like, Golbat, for example. It, and in ridiculously high levels, which is pretty- which makes this place a pretty good place for grinding if you don't feel like going on the Elite Four. Yeah, but with the Elite Four you get cash every time, so... That is true. I think- I think pretty much everyone grinded on the Elite Four back in the day for the money. Now if you go over here, there's an item. A max elixir. max elixir. I think there's one over here too. Also, there no, we go. the Serpentine Cave is entirely redesigned in yellow. It is? Yes, it is. Huh. I didn't know. It didn't look any different. Learn something new every day. I believe there's another one if you come down this way. Yep, there you go. And a forest star, which is very good. I believe. Ah. Hey, Dodrio, how's it going? It's a Dodrio! Probably one of the laziest designs after Magnemite and Dugtrio. And I believe. Ah! I would. I would cut. I would throw down a Max Repel, but there's some good Pokemon on the next floor. Notably, yeah, they're very good Pokemon on the next floor. I think... Which, man, it's a pretty good... Man, it's even better to grind on that floor than this floor. Even if it is a mace. <clears throat> yeah, it is kind of annoying like that, but... Oh well. Item here. Another floor store. There's like eight items in the entire place. I just go through and get them all. Because I can. Oh wait, that puts me here. Derp. Okay, let's see what's this way. Stop! Hey Marowak, how's Marowak. it going? 
and the level start to rise. It's a shame I'd probably KO you in one hit, so. Yeah, there's nothing here. Oh, that puts me. Oh, Wild Raichu. Wild Raichu with their basic boost set of Thunder Shock, Thunder Wave, Growl, and Thunderbolt. Ouch. Actually, you scratch the Thunderbolt. I don't think they even learned that in another basic move until yellow. Jesus. Let's try this one. Because I, rem I remember right, this is the way to go. I ha actually didn't bring the guide down with me, so I don't remember off the top of my head. Wigglytuff! Wild Wigglytuff, take that, Moonstone! <laughs> oh. Ah! Ooh, Kadabra. Forgot about that. Forgot about that. Doop doop doo doop doo 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 doo. -do -do -do. Yeah, I'm just gonna start fast forwarding through the ones we've already seen. Case in point. Now, go up here. And this is. an Ultra Ball. I, I can't remember if that's everything. Oh, Venomoth. It's so stupid how this thing's not a flying type, even though it has wings. That's what's up. Ah, oh. Awesome Trode! Kyle Trode! Ah. I can't remember if there's any more items here. Oh, on this floor, I mean. Wild Rhydons. Great for experience. Great, do you remember if there are any more items on this floor? Nah, it's been a long time since I tried to check out this really cave. Probably, so I don't remember off the top of my head. Probably pull up a guide real quick. I'm pretty sure this is the way to go down. Yeah, this is the way to go down. And basement floor. Wild Chanseys. This, oh, yeah. this is the only other place in the game you can get them besides the Safari Zone. I'm actually gonna try to catch one of these. No! Yep. Oh. Oh. Damn it, Patton, I didn't want you to get a critical there. Oh, and Dittos. Forgot about these. Yep, Dittos. LCC3. And we didn't mention it, but that, that a chance he was level 64! Okay, let's see what this is. Ooh, that's good. Shame I don't need him. <laughs> Yay, more awesome trode! Awesome trode always makes a good day. Kyle trode. It has the off. I call him awesome trode in this version because they have, you know, awesome face. Awesome face. I still want somebody to. I still want somebody to slap the awesome face over that just because. Be the best thing ever. Okay. There we go. Another chancy. I'm gonna throw down a max uh, repel if I actually manage to catch this thing. Now don't critical this time. Dead, dead, dead. So dead. Damn it! Oh well. Another Ultra Ball, and that should be everything, I think. Alright, I'm just gonna throw down a Max Repel. Screw this. Well, there we go. Yeah, the encounter rate here is not that bad. At least from what I noticed. This long and winding place. 
surfing some more. There he is. Well, what? What's this? A new opponent? There we go. Ladies and gentlemen, the time has come. To face the ultimate wild Pokemon. The greatest legendary of Generation 1. Behold. The mighty Mewtwo. Mewtwo! The highest level wild Pokemon at level 70. And it's also the strongest... Not only the strongest legendary in Gen 1, it's the strongest psychic type in the game. Arguably. Arguably. I'm not sure... Destroy! Consume! Kill! I'm not sure which one of them is better between Mew and Mewtwo. I'm honestly not too sure on that. Don't critical. There we go, perfect. Yeah, Mew a Psychic with Mewtwo is a very powerful thing. If your Pokémon were still level 60, this thing would crush you. Now it's time... Now, let's see what we can do here. I'm just gonna try Ultra Balls for a little while, even though I'm probably gonna miss. Yep, I'm just gonna miss. the Pokémon. Life up! Damn it. I should've just went with the Master Ball. Oh well. I can take care of him. Bonk. Oh yeah, there we go. Now we can use Ultra Balls if we want. You know what, let's do it. Go Ultra Ball. What? How did I still miss? What, do I have to put you to sleep? That's stupid. Come barrier! Let's try that again. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Master Ball it is. Well, this is Pokemon Generation 1. Uh, Here we are. <laughs> Go, Master Ball! <laughs> it's a capture. One, two, three. And that's it, ladies and gentlemen. We've officially done Here, everything. Two. We've officially and done everything we can in this game. Boom. Number 150. It's created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. And also because some guy lost his daughter. I mean, what? Wait, what? No, that, was the, that was the subplot in the movie. Oh, right. Real quick. Mew and Mewtwo, side by side. Who'd have thought it? God, what a beast. Well guys, I guess that's really all we can do. That's all we... That's, uh, there's really nothing else left to do in the game. Alas, what a pity. It's, a, it's kind of a shame, but hey. All good things must come to an end, you know? So, that's it for the project, guys. I hope you enjoyed. Let's play Pokemon Blue Water solo. Anything you want to add, Ray? Nah, but I'm glad to have been here. Yeah, I'm glad you were here for the finale. I knew you would make it more entertaining. <laughs> but seriously, thank you guys for watching. I hope you really liked the project. I know I did. As far as the next big LP goes... I have no idea, I'm gonna have to think on it a little bit. Plus, updating it would probably be kinda wonky because of my full-time job now, so who knows. But, that's neither here nor there. Thank you all for watching, I've been Master Soul Warrior. And I've been Mage Knight 404! And I'll see you guys for the next LP. Goodbye, everybody. Bye.